Okay, so we're out in the garden and we're just over here with the Bonchosia. And this is like a peanut butter fruit. Um, and these are beautifully ripe. You can see um, the coloring here when they're just starting to get some color on them. And you can see up here, ready to pick right now. And you can see there's some birds or some bats that have been loving them as well. Um, so this is probably only about three years old, this tree, and I've got it on a trellis. Um, it's actually quite a high trellis, so in a small garden, the high trellises work pretty well. Um, but if you're doing larger scale uh, trellises, probably best to do a lot lower. Um, I've visited a few, well, I've visited a farm that started off high. Um, they were doing the Tatura trellis system, which is the V-shaped Tatura trellis, T-A-T-U-R-A. And then they did it lower, and then they did it lower again. So they were trying to, they got it down to, I think, two and a half meters, which makes it a lot more manageable, instead of having to have equipment getting you up high to be able to prune. Um, essentially, growing on a trellis system allows you to get more sideways growth. And this one hasn't been pruned um, uh, as effectively as what it could be. Um, but uh, essentially, we get a lot more sideways growth. When you get a lot more sideways growth, then we got a lot more fruit. So in terms of space per square meter, you end up with a higher yield um, in that same space. So something to worth considering. Um, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy one of these. Mm. Yeah, so it has a bit of a peanut, peanutty flavor. Um, if you eat them orange, like raw, as in unripe raw, they have like a bit of a carroty texture as well. A um, bit of a nutty sort of, a bit of a nutty flavor. So, um, mm. Bonchosia, peanut butter fruit, highly recommend having a tree in your garden just for some variety and a little bit of taste bud, uh, different sensations. Enjoy.